Ken Kinbaker, he is kicking it over at the Pike Street restaurant to show us where you can get a bite of elevated flavors. Ooh, I'm intrigued. Yes, I am like so pumped. So this is a really cool little uh, spot. This is the West Pike Street Diner. Uh, of course, on Pike Street here in uh, Covington. I want to come over, talk to Jeremy. He is the owner, operator here, the chef extraordinaire. Uh, introduce your new uh, spot. What, since May you guys have been open, is that right? Yeah, we've been open for about five months. Uh, this is our third um, location. Our flagship restaurant is Cedar in Mainstrass. We opened Yucca by Cedar uh, about a year after that one. And then now we've uh, we've opened this one. So we've opened three in about three years. All right, so all of this looks fantastic. I was sitting at my desk dreaming of these waffles. Folks, Thursday, tomorrow, National Waffles Day. Uh, walk me through some of these uh, selections. So this is our apple pie stuffed waffles. So we uh, make apple pie filling. And then when the waffle goes into the iron, before we fold it over, we put the apple pie filling in there and fold it over itself. So the apple pie filling cooks inside. And we take it out, we deep fry it, toss it in cinnamon sugar. And then underneath of there is like a bourbon cinnamon creme anglaise, it's just like a fancy word for melted ice cream, and then a graham cracker schnitzel over the top. One of our best sellers. This, I cannot wait to eat this one uh -oh. as soon as this camera goes off. Well, what's on this? This is the Cub Club. So we actually slow roast that turkey. Uh, it's like big, huge, um, you know, six or seven pound turkey breasts. We slow roast them, then we slice them down ourselves. Um, just kind of flash grill it, and then pile it up on this... Uh, this brioche uh, bread and then uh, like candy bacon that we make in the restaurant. And then lastly, the hash, right? Yep, this is the Pike Street hash. This is our number one seller. So that's uh, just shaved russet potatoes under there. We grill them on the grill till they're nice and crispy. And then uh, house-made sausage, peppers, onions, sunny eggs, and then uh, an aioli on there. All right, so while we're about to make a drink here, uh, why yeah. did you decide to do an elevated diner? Um, I don't know, we think that all of our restaurants are, you know, food that you see everywhere. Um, but we just want to elevate it and take it just a, a little step farther, make everything ourselves. You know where everything's coming from. It just means a lot to us. All right. Okay, so what are we doing here, and what are we making? We are making our morning martini, so we're going to do some ice in there. All we're right. going to do an ounce and a half you of you got to watch how I pour, because I'll do one of those Frank Marzullo pours. That's all right. Is that good? Yeah. Keep going? No, or keep, stop, going. Stop, stop, keep, keep going. going. Keep going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right. We're going to do about a half ounce of that. All right. That's a half that's ounce good. there, okay? Yeah. And, and then, then about a half ounce of that, that's uh, creme de cacao. Creme, what is it? The cacao? Creme de cacao. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. That's Boom. good on that one. Then we're going to open this up. All right. We're going to do about two ounces of that in there. Two ounces here. Is that more, good? A little more. A little more? That's good. Okay. And we're going to take it, and you're going to shake it up. All right. Oh, oh yeah, put the show on. Please. Are you going to hire me? <laughs> you're hired, for sure. <laughs> All right, cool. What happens next? All right, so we're going to take it. We're just going to barely open it up. And we're just going to strain it into the glass. Man, that looks good. That looks really, really good. What would you equate this to for somebody at home thinking, oh, I wonder what that tastes like? It's like a dessert martini. Um, it's going to taste a lot like cream, and this is vanilla-flavored vodka, so you're going to get a lot of vanilla in there. It's very dessert-like. Okay, you um, you want to plug your other ones? So you do cedar, you have what else? Uh, restaurants. Yucca uh, by Cedar in Bellevue, which okay. is a Latin American twist on uh, breakfast. And then now this one, this is our third one. This is very cool. I love all of this. Guys, we got to come check it out. It smells really delicious down here. Um, thank you for uh, kicking it with Ken today. Yeah, thank you for coming. Uh, Ken, what are you going to try first? I, so I think, okay, so I love a good hash, but this sandwich, today I'm feeling very turkey no. and sandwichy, yes. but I would definitely eat this after a long weekend, you know, after a long night out. I don't do too many of this, I'm old now. But, uh, <laughs> that is so true. There is nothing better than a nice big breakfast after, you know, maybe yep. you for sure. had some fun the night before and you just need to absorb some of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It I, happens. Was, I was looking at that toast. I think everything just looked cool. It so looks really good. So good. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah, I think we're gonna check in with him again coming up here in the next hour. So yeah, but. still to come up coming on the morning X. Messy Mania is here, folks. We're gonna tell you how some local businesses are preparing for his arrival here in the Queen City. He may yeah. already be here. Who knows? Yeah.